red, back for the blue, and then leave that red Ten. that's almost touching the black. And that looks good 11. to me. He may have to come off the top cushion with a little trace aside, but this is the key shot to freeing that black ball. How's the pace on it? If he's straight, he's perfect. That's pinged a little bit off the cushion, but I think he's... Yes. 16. A little bit to the left would have been ideal. Yeah, if he'd have been a touch shorter there, Dennis, he'd pot this, just played a little stun into the back of the pack, would have opened a few reds out, left himself on the black. He's had a look at the pink, so if he doesn't fancy holding for the black there, he might be too close to it. He's looked to see if the pink's available, if he screws back off the cushion. Well, the pink won't go, so he'll have to be precise. Failing that, it'll have to be the blue he screws back for. He was a fraction away from being perfect. Oh, that's kicked. Yeah. That has kicked, and look where the cue ball's finished. He's, well, he Seven. slams the slit. That contact has ruined things. Why does it always happen when you, you need it to happen the least? I mean, that is just ridiculous how that's kicked. And it's finished in no man's land. Even, even if you've got a shot on the blue to one of the corners, it's something. But where he's finished, I'm not so sure he can see the green either, can he? He's got to compose himself again because he was very unfortunate there. He knew that was a great chance to clinch this semi-final. Well, he can see the green, Dennis. So round the angles for the loose red next to the black. Now, has he composed himself enough? He's just checking to see if he pushes the cue through. But he's going to need his extension on this. This is a big shot he's taking on. Green ball. But he has been so positive in this session. Well, what a result. So he Bob had Selby. very bad 70. luck with the kick. And I suppose he de deserves a little bit of good luck. The fact that the green careered into the cue ball and kept it in a safe position. But boy, was that a costly, heavy contact. Meanwhile, Mark Ofu still looks the same. His temperament's unbelievable. You'd think it was the opening frame in this year's World Championship for him. But what a test for this player from Hong Kong. Yeah, he's got to forget about that kick. So we're in for a little bout of safety and tactical play. Who's going to make the first mistake? <coughs> Do you
Just makes the safety shot a little bit more difficult where the red is on the right hand side. Gotta make sure you avoid the cannon on the way back. A good shot from Marco that. Played it really nicely. Well done. And that really has opened the frame up. The pink and black are now out in the open. There's what four reds in potable positions. A little triangle of reds are tied up near the pink spot. And he's looking at cutting this back into the left corner. There is a path back round the table, but if he doesn't catch it right, he can catch that red, the right side of the table, but he's taking this pot on. That is brilliant. How's the kiss on the blue? It's not bad. One. But John, that was a terrific red, wasn't it? Fabulous pot. Absolutely fabulous. And he's come on the table, can on the blue, and he's straight on the pink. I think if he pots this and just leaves the cue ball more or less where it is, he should be all right to be on the red on the right-hand side. Just got to avoid... Obviously, the pink will go back on its spot, so you just got to make sure he holds the position there. He's got a bit more angle than I thought. So he played the cannon. How's your look? Well, at first glance, it's not very good, and that expression tells you that he's been a bit unlucky there with the cannon. Seven. Couldn't have played it much better. But it's just ran awkward. It all adds to the tension here, the crucible. Could play that shot another ten times, and nine out of the ten, he dropped nicely on a red. Can he cut this back in? Because he'd finish on yellow, brown, or blue, but it looks very thin to me. The one to the right. Surely not. looking just where he wants to place the cue ball so <laughs> yeah he, he had another look at the cut it's just too thin oh, what's he done here Foul. well it's safe Mark but I mean, seven Marco Fu four that's amazing that's the last thing we expected there but Quiet down, please. Everything perfectly safe, though. Yeah, I don't blame him being a bit frustrated in his chair there. This frame's gone a couple of times a bit funny for Mark. Played a cannon there. You'd think for all money he'd be on a red. He's not. He's had the kick earlier in the break, running through. Finished in no man's land. And all you're really looking for in these situations, then, is a really good chance, isn't it? And he just can't quite get on the balls like he wants. Well, he's had a, a couple. He was very unlucky. Marco hasn't had a chance yet in this frame, a frame that he badly needs to keep himself in this year's World Championship. Is he looking at the back double here? Surely not. No, he's looking about sending it down the table and towards the reds, but you've got to be careful here. Well, that's a good cue ball. He's opened some more reds up. <laughs> well, if you can see the one to the left of the black, it's a thin cut, and the white will be heading towards the pink.
Just the safety. I don't blame him one little bit, but he's hit the blue. He's left one for the right corner, but the white's going to cannon into those two reds. This is a very big shot. Knock it in. Could have a great chance. Miss it, and it could be a last shot in this year's World Championship. A brave shot, and he wasn't sure what was going to happen, the cue ball, but he knew the pink and black were in a nice position, and he deserves to drop on the black here. I'll tell you what, Dennis, this isn't a nice shot under circumstances. You've got to play this nearly dead weight. It's running away, this, from contacting the black. He wants to stay on the red, so he's got to play this very slowly. And he's, I wonder he's shaking his head. It looks simple there, but if he plays this with any weight, he could lose the cue ball for the next red. Well, where's the cue ball? He's going in the pocket, I think. No, not quite, but what not he decided in the end one. there was to punch it in and cannon that red the left side of the table and miss hit it. So he knew, he didn't fancy just dropping it in dead weight. He's trying to use that red as a stopper to leave the one to the left of the pink there. That definitely was a nervy one. Quite understandable under the circumstances. Trying to get himself into his first ever Crucible final. Looking at the potting angle, but can he avoid the reds on the way back? Another brilliant shot. <laughs> what a punt. Fabulous. Absolutely fabulous. Two brilliant long reds he's put in this frame already. Once again, can't quite get position. I mean, this is a fabulous pot. Unfortunately for Mark, your cue ball's come up a little short. Bounces another six inches and he's on the blue. Great chance, but where he is, very risky to take that blue on. Well, he is calling on all his experience here. Yellow ball. And he's playing the snooker back in behind the blue. Mark Selby won. He's potted some balls in his frames with only eight points ahead, hasn't he? Now this red will go close to the right corner pocket as he doubles it across the table. Played it well, but you can see the target There's only the brown and blue there, yellow and green up this end of the table. So the target is to try and get in behind that blue and close to the cushion. Safety shot off the side of the two reds near the green isn't a problem, but of course it's the red second one that he cannons. When that comes off, it's going to probably promote one of the reds on the right-hand side, so he's going to avoid that. Couldn't do much with that one, just need to play the containing safety. An excellent weight on the cue ball yet again. Brilliant. Well, this crucible crowd enjoying this tactical battle. We've seen some and quite a few frames won with one visit. But this is tense stuff now. These frames. 
sometimes can be more exciting. It's a battle of nerves at the moment. Slightly easier shot now, as you can see. Wonderful scenes of the Crucible. The red I mentioned before, he can play this now because he'll only be cannon into the green. So that shouldn't knock a red towards the corner. Oh, it looks good. He's swinging it right around. Not quite hard enough. Well. There's a pot on for the right corner. But it cannon into the green and reds. That really would be far too risky. I don't think he can pot the one near the yellow. So it's just a safety shot. Find the gap. Oh, can you believe it? He's potted the yellow and it might be a free ball Long when the yellow comes back. On its spot, no, not a free ball. But I'm sure Mark Selby will put him back in from where it's finished. Having a look around, but yeah, play it from there. The funny thing is, Dennis, the spread that's two up from the cushion, if Marco clips that onto the green, there's a big target behind brown and blue here. OK, it's asking a lot in circumstances, but there's a chance. Well, he may be behind the brown. <laughs> I honestly thought that was very risky to stick him back into back from there. Well, he did look long and hard at it, Mark Selby, and thought, well, I don't fancy it, but... Now he wishes he had a play of the shot. Look when the cue ball's finished. He's just playing off the right side of this red as we look at it to leave the white up this end of the table. He's missed it. He's missed it altogether. Foul. The miss. Probably Mark striking Mark down on it. Got a little touch aside. <coughs> but there's very little available to Mark Selby. He may have another go at the same shot. He's just trying to glance off the right side of the red as we look at it. And trying to leave it up near the corner pocket here. Where we know he could definitely see screen. that red. Yeah. Might yeah, just put it up on the screen, have a quick look. Uh, let's see, where was it? Bang on, yeah? Was it? Or bang on a corner. That's where it was before. Let's have a look now. Absolutely spot on. Bang on, Jan, yeah? Yeah, bang on. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, Marco. Quite happy as uh, Mike. Will he have one more go at this shot? <coughs> right, try number two. Look how close he's got the cue to that blue. Better. That'll do. Foul. That'll do. The whites in the Marco pocket. Full. Full. He was hoping to get it in the jaws, but he'll settle for the white going in. I mean, if you were to try and go in off from that position, there's no way you could play it if you were playing 
a billiard shot. This is a hard frame. There's been some play in this. Hard, but fascinating. Too thick, much too thick. Well, it's not a sitter he's faced with, but it's a half chance. And I think he can avoid the cannon on the red that's near the cushion there. like a plain ball pot doesn't it come up hopefully miss the pink on the way back it's there mm, just caught it one he's just coming around to look if he dropped the pink in would that red be available Would have been better without the kiss on the pink, that's for sure. Yeah, they had a choice of pink or black, wouldn't they? Just that nudge on it just made such a difference. Just seeing that if he drops the pink in, comes off the side cushion and leaves the cue ball when he was looking, that might be the only chance he's got at the red. That was the best he could do. Has he gone far enough? No, he drops his head. That tells you that he snookered when the pink is respotted. Seven. So things really hotting up at the crucible. <coughs> this frame not far away from getting to the half hour. Stage the last frame of this morning session, well, the longest frame ever played in the history of the Crucible, 76 minutes. And uh, it's tense time in the Crucible now. This looks good. Marco Phil, seven. Good length. <laughs> well, Mark Selby has potted some fantastic balls in this frame. Now, this one, he's looking at the cutting angle, but I mean, if he takes this on, he's going to can it into the right one of the reds near the cushion, you would feel. So maybe this time. It's not as straightforward if he takes the pot on. No, the safety shot and did well to avoid the red on the left. He couldn't risk trying to pot that, but he's played a terrific safety shot. Might get close to the pocket here. Goes across the face of this, playing the safety. White, but worth a shot to nothing. And great cue ball again. Very high quality. It's a very high quality, low scoring, tense frame. Big sigh. A few deep breaths needed. Same applies here. This will go close. To the other corner pocket, it'll go. Oh. But look at the cue ball, he's 
got this time. He's right in behind the blue. Fantastic shot. So, twice across the table to try and land on the red to the left here. What a shot he's faced with here. He's got to pick the angles out and just nestle on that red. Somewhere near the lines would get him to that red. Can he judge it? It's coming a bit narrow. Well played. Yeah, excellent shot, but I think it may be touching ball. Match time just goes past just the 12 hours, Dennis. And the winner of this has got to come out tomorrow at two o'clock and contest the final against the Chinese sensation Ding Zhongwei. That's a good shot, by the way. He's not played behind brown or blue there. He's played in a different area where he thinks it's more trouble. And he's right. If Marco's clipping this one, this needs good queuing and good eyes. Well, the eyes have it, because that was a good shot he's played there. Although, having said that, Mark Selby has knocked in a few cracking long reds. This is a bit of a chance. And you'd think he'd finish on yellow, brown or blue if it goes in. It's there again. But he's going to be close to the cushion. One. He's been so close on a number of occasions of being in the perfect position. And it seems an awful long time ago since he got that bad kick when he was right in amongst them. Yellow ball. Mark Selby won. He's not going to make it easy for Mark Fu. He's keeping things so tight. Thanks, Marco. Oh, Dennis, this is granite snooker, isn't it? Absolute granite safety play. Yeah, Marco tapping the table. He's got a problem every time he turns up. Yeah, a lot to think about here has Marco, because if he comes off the side cushion and tries to nestle on the two reds behind the black spot, if he doesn't get it right, he'll leave the other one on. As we zoom in from the back of the crucible, Well, that would be very precise. If he plays that shot, he's got to hit the red full ball and knock it safe. Anything but full ball, he can push this red on. He's played it well. Excellent. Absolutely excellent. Well sorted out and really well played. Looking at the path to get in behind the blue again. It's not bad. Not quite. Just come up a little bit short.
It's been fabulous safety. It really has in this frame. All little thin safeties at the moment, anything on the thick side, and you're going to bring the reds into play. Mark's just a little bit low to play the one on the right hand side because of the green. Can clip the side of it, no problem, but he just doesn't want to make sure he to avoid cannon in the green on the way back. That's the one it ideally like to play, so he's got to switch and go the other side. You've got to be a little bit more careful here. You don't promote the red to the corner. Yeah, I'm not Foul. surprised he yes. missed that, Dennis. He's trying to feather it, isn't Marco he? Full foot. Yeah, no free ball, so it will be replaced. Yeah, he doesn't mind missing it with the first attempt. Rather do that than hit it too thick. Marco, thank you. Mm. Where's the cue ball? Where is that white? It's okay. In fact, <laughs> it's blocked the path down the left side, so Marco's going to have to come down the right side here. Any thick contact will promote the reds, that's why he's just rolling to it. The only problem with that shot, he could put himself in trouble. Because every chance for Mark Selby to get twice across the table and in behind the blue and brown. Played it well if he's covered this red, but maybe it's come up a little short. Can he hit this thin enough to avoid the reds on the cushion? But he can't get into the reds anywhere. There's been some brilliant individual pots in this frame, Dennis. For very little reward. Blue ball. Blue ball. Marco through one. But the way the three reds are here. Highly unlikely that he'd leave one on, just off the side cushion, just nestling into them. <laughs> well, nail-biting time at the Crucible. Just coming up to 41 minutes. A frame that could keep Marco Fu in this year's World Championship. And at the moment, we've got a little bit of a stalemate, but how is this going to get resolved?
In this sort of situation, you would make Mark Selby slightly favourite. He's so good at working out the angles and picking out something just that little bit more difficult. Like if he hits the cushion first, he can send the white over towards the green and black. Is that what he's got in mind? Just a thin one, but that's a great shot. Straight away, he's ended the stalemate. Marco just got to make sure that he doesn't cannon one of the two reds with this one. Yeah, that's why he went wide. Well, look at this shot. Have a look at this little beauty. <laughs> Fabulous. Quality of match play in this frame. Absolutely superb. Just seven points the difference. How do you pick a winner in this frame? Advantage, Marco Fu, just at the moment. Yeah, just round the back of the black and the green. Trying to get dead weight onto the two reds, but that's coming up shy, and he may have left the red in the middle pocket. Marco Fufu. Marco didn't even come around and have a look at it, but looking at the way that white came off the cushion, the angle might not be there because it's skidding a little bit. It might be a change of plan. And I don't think he can get twice across the table, not the left side of the table as we look at it. You'd have to go twice across the right side of the table because the other shot that he tried wasn't on. And that's skidding a little bit as well. Look how far that's away. That's well, not Mark yes. Selby. That's just the Mark cushion skidding for. slightly. So it'll be a big readjustment. He's now 15 ahead. So these are valuable penalty points for Mark Fu. Can he readjust? That's nearer. But it's still, you see, as it comes off the side cushion, well, it's taking a totally Marco different Fufu. angle. So he's going to have to readjust again, simply because it's skidding slightly. Looking at the way it's skidding, he's going to have to get even closer to the yellow, somewhere like that, to get to the reds. Now, will it skid this time? It has. He's in big trouble here. Foul and a miss. Marco Fu, four. He's now 23 points behind. Now looking back at the first shot he played on the back of the black and green, but I'm with you, Dennis. I'm not sure that's on. Well, he might just have to play for the red that's near the pink because the the white is skidding off the cushion, and that's what he's doing this time. Didn't want to risk that shot, but he's played it well because the other shot, it was just the cushions that were skidding slightly. But it's definitely advantage Marco Fu now. Mm. 
I suppose he could play the last shot he played Mark on that loose red because he knew at least there wasn't going to be a clearance. The way those two reds are on the top cushion, no black on the spot. I mean, mission impossible to clear up. One colored ball on its spot. Pretty good. If he had missed the pink, he was heading in behind the green and black there. <coughs> See, Marco doesn't want to be promoting any of the colors. That blue that's next to the red is in a good position for him, having that 23-point advantage. And the green's a little bit awkward near the black. He can play thin on the red if he wants and just clip it towards the blue. Now decided to play down, top cushion, side cushion. That'll do as well. Good shot. Coming up to 49 minutes in this fascinating frame. A frame that will get Mark Selby into tomorrow's final. jumped up there he thought that uh, white drifted slightly now I'm wondering if Mark can play the snooker in behind the black this time a little thin one you see I think that's his intention a little thin one and possibly get the snooker just past the middle pocket with the cue ball here has he gone a little too far just a fraction. And slowly but surely, the Reds are now starting to go into more potable positions. Five minutes or so ago, they were all jammed on the top cushion. And you couldn't pot any of them. But gradually, with the safety play, they're now becoming available. So one mistake could be very costly. Well, look at this shot. Have a look at this shot.
Marcos played one. Now Mark Selby's played one to get the snooker in behind the brown. And as John mentioned, now that the reds are slightly open, it's even more difficult to land on one. And we've seen Mark struggling with the, the cushions skidding a little bit, John. Yeah. I mean, ordinarily, you'd look at side cushion, side cushion into the red at the back, you know, off the, the left-hand side cushion to the right and then over. But as you say, Dennis, the way they're sliding, you're more likely to hit the red that's near the pink. That's very risky. He's going twice across. I mean, if he come off that side cushion, he could quite easily promote a red. But can he judge the cushions correctly? Yeah, yeah. it's not the first cushion I'm worried about. It's the second one. How's it going to throw? Well, here it comes. And that has skid oh, off a little. Yes. Mark Selby, four. So Mark give away a few penalty points. He might get a few back here. So can he make the readjustment that is needed? Try number two. No, it's gone again. This time he might leave the red. That's near the pink. Five. Can he cut Lewis. this in? Mark Selby, four. There's not many colours available if he can cut it in. But if he could head up to the bulk area, he could gain a big advantage here. Can he hold this? He can. And now the chance is there. One. The black will pot. Yeah, that was really well played. Put a little bit of check side on that just to hold the cue ball. Knew the black was there. Now, not behind the spot, surely. We'll find out shortly. He might be. As he left it short. Eight. Well, he has. Look at that. Another Quiet couple down, of please. inches. Thank you. Marco looking up at the monitor. And this is a tough cut he's faced with now. He'll be playing it as a shot to nothing. The white will go way up the other end of the table. It's there. And he's on the brown. Nine. Well, I say he's on the brown, but what a shot he's got to play here to get on that last red. He's looked at the yellow, it's too thin. He snookered himself with the black the last time. Can he get on that red this time? Good news with this shot, he's got a little bit of a margin for error. Anywhere near the corner pocket should be fine. This is brilliant, John. This is a brilliant positional shot he's played. But still, an awful lot to be done. Yep. He's a long way from being out of the woods here. This will be some clearance. Green's not great. Taking his time, he knows the importance of this visit. He's looking to see if he could promote the green. I was going to say, Dennis, I think be the, if the pink wasn't where it was, it would be the first shot he'd be playing there. I think he'd just be playing side cushion, try and flick the green back into play for the clearance. But is that pink in the way? He 
It was. That's why he 40. elected to just play on the brown. I think that green will pot into the middle if he gets that far. I think it's potable, all right, but he can't do much with the cue ball. Eighteen. Well, he looks to be almost straight on this yellow. He needs the yellow, the green, the brown and the blue to get himself in to tomorrow's final. And the way he's looking there, is he trying to play the yellow and screw back and maybe move the green off the cushion? Has he got that angle to come back and move it? He's reverse side if that's the shot he's attempting. And he is. Has he got the reverse side? He sure has. But he's not the correct side. As we show you that reverse side to develop the green, but he's the wrong side to get on the brown because he's got to get onto that difficult blue. Oh, if he powers this around, the angle of the green could jump out of the pocket. We've seen a blue jump out yesterday. If he rolls the green in, it's a very difficult brown he's faced with. Well, tense times for Vicky, his wife there, and his friends. I just don't see how he can make the clearance here, Dennis. I really don't. He's got virtually no angle on the green. If he leaves the white there where he is, he wouldn't risk playing the brown dead weight. I just don't know how he's going to get on the blue. He's gone for the power shot. He's hit the black. There's no value 23. in potting the brown now. He might play it on the thin side, not to take the pot on and get back up behind pink or black. That's what he's done. Is he behind the pink? Mark it's Selby, close. 23. Another brilliant shot from Mark Selby. <laughs> well, this is tough because if he just nestles on the brown, he's going to put himself in trouble. He's missed it, and he's going to hit the blue, and he's going to... Oh, Foul. I thought yes. he was going to stick the brown. Foul. If he hit the blue Foul. full ball, he would have stuck the brown on. He's having it put back because he still needs the brown and blue. Had the option there, of course, of... Uh, could have played the brown, screwed in behind the blue. Snookered Marco, but he's thinking maybe this is that difficult. Even if he hits it, he's going to leave me a chance to get the snooker. This way, it? Yeah, you put it up, please. I'm going to put it up. Everybody looking at the monitor to see where it was. The blue. Let's have a look where it was. That's where it was before. And that's spot on. Well, what does he do here, John? Does he try and land on a dead weight again, or does this time he just play to hit it and hopefully yep. knock it safe? Okay. Yep. Come on. Okay. Neither choice is particularly appealing, is it? Because, as you say, he's going to need a little bit of luck either way. Not hitting it, I'm pretty sure he'll do that, but what is he going to leave? Foul, 
and a miss. Mark's LB4. Uh, this would be a terrible way to go out of this year's Betfred World Championship. 17 behind now. <laughs> It's been over an hour. This frame, there's been some unbelievable safety and tactical play in it, but it's all about the misrule. Well, in fairness, Dennis, it's not particularly hard snooker to hit, is it? It's not necessarily all about that. It's just that you'd expect Marco, somebody of his quality, to have hit it in the first two goes. Now, will he this time try and hit the brown and just hope that he gets it safe, or is he trying to land on it again? As I say, the cushions seem to have been skidding a little bit. And now... Foul, the miss. It's a must hit. Mark Selby four. Because if he doesn't hit it this time, he needs a snooker. 21, the difference. It's a must hit situation. Yeah. Mark. Thank you. He's hit it, but where is he going to send it to? You know what, that's about the best he could have got out of that. When it's finished, it's not absolutely guaranteed to get a snooker. That is really just about the best he could have got. Yeah, it's a delicate little flick that he needs to get the snooker behind the blue. But he's got it. Now, there's just one shot that might be on for Marco. If he comes off the left side cushion, he could get the snooker in behind the blue. This is a chance. Has he judged it? Oh, oh he's... Foul. He's Mark hit the blue, five. but that was a chance, John, to get the snooker back. Oh, that is unbelievable what he's done there. He just didn't have enough pace on it. He definitely had the chance to do what you, you said, Dennis. And you see the cue ball there just sneaks past the brown and hits the blue. Well, 26 points, the difference. He needs one snooker to tie. It's looking good for Mark Selby now. And that could be Mark Selby, <laughs> chance that he's been waiting for. Marco Fu has had an unbelievable world championship. And what a frame of snooker this has been. One good straight piece of cueing. It's there. Four. Well, Marco Fu, you've played unbelievably well. <coughs> Trying to get into his first ever Crucible final. Mark Selby, four. <coughs> 30 points, the difference. And the blue's going over the corner pocket. It might be a handshake here. Well, Marco will wait until Mark Selby knocks the blue in. It's been a fabulous semi-final. It's been a fantastic session, John. This final session's been superb. Two wonderful players Five. and a fabulous tactical frame to finish the match.
And what a player and what a competitor Mark Selby is. Marco Fu's been brilliant in this, but Selby's just ground out of victory again. 11. As I mentioned, it's been a superb semi-final. Smiles all round from that. both players. But in the end, Mark Selby's experience seemed to tell. And he has got himself into his second final in three years. The world number one will contest the final against Ding Zhongwei. Fabulous semi-final. The world number one is there.